Hi, I am with you to introducing of the PH485 UX2 product. This product is a USB to RS485 and RS422 converter in industrial class. It connects to the computer via a USB port and adds to a standard RS485 or RS422 ports as comfort to your system. With this converter, you can connect any device with RS485 or RS422 port such as PLC, CNC, and other industrial devices to your computer. Some of the important features of this product that makes it categorized in industrial class is the protection against electrical shocks and electromagnetic noises. It also has 3 kV optical and electrical insulation which has a great effect on eliminating noises such as electromagnetic noises which are coming from contacts changing in electromotors or EST voltages such as surge or lightning. Here you can see the product packaging. After unpacking, we will see the contents of the box. The content is including a PH485 UX2 that I take out of the plastic cover. In one side, it has a USB port that connects to the computer via the USB cable which is inside the box. At the other side, you can see an adapter jack, the power input of the device, which is connects to the power supply. Also note that this device can work with any DC voltages from 8 to 48 volts. So if you don't have access to 220 volt power to connect the adapter, you can use any available DC industrial power supply in your project. For example, 24 volt DC. This device also has two RS485 or RS422 ports with 9-pin DB9 male connector. It also includes a 12V adapter, two DIN rail brackets, which the device can be installed on the rail by the means of them. We have two DB9 female connectors, a USB cable and a CD which includes the user guide, data sheet and the required driver files. This device supports all RS485 network topologies such as point-to-point -point and multipoint. It also supports point-to-point -point and multi-drop in RS422 mode. To show how the converter works, plug in the converter power adapter and you will see the converter power light comes on. Connect converter to a computer using USB cable. As you see, the green light on the converter turns on. Now to show how the converter works, for example, I connect the RS485 section of the first port to the RS485 section of the second port. Normally, you don't need to connect these two ports together, and ordinarily these ports are connected separately to another device with RS485 or RS422. As you know, the RS485 standard consists of a pair of differential signals. On this converter, RS-422 is located to the pins 1 to 5 and RS-485 on pins 6 to 9. According to this table, data minus signal is on pin number 7, data plus signal is on pin number 8, and GMD is on pin number 9. To connect the first port to the second port, I use the female DB9 connector. You can find two of them inside the product box. I connect GND or pin number 9 of the first port to the GND of the second port using a brown wire. Data plus or pin number 8 to data plus with blue wire. And data minus or pin number 7 to data minus with green wire. Here for more clarity, I didn't close the connector frame. As you see, all the necessary connections have been made to start working with the converter. 
After connecting converter to the computer, the driver is automatically installed in Windows. If it is not installed, we will install it manually from the CD. First, go to the device manager of the computer and in the port section see that two ports have been added to the system. To test whether these two ports are related to this converter or not, disconnect converter from the computer. As you see, both COM ports are removed from the computer. Reconnect it. See, both COM ports are added to the computer again. Note that the COM ports assigned to this converter doesn't necessarily have to be number 14 and 15. And on your system, depending on which port number is free, Another number may be assigned to this device COM ports, and this is managed by the operating system. Serial port testing software such as Microsoft Hyper Terminal can be used to demonstrate how this converter works. Here I use free terminal software that a copy of it is in the product CD in the utility folder. And also you can download it from this address. Open Terminal Software In this section, select COM number 14 and you will see that the other settings are in the default state. The default settings are boot rate 9600 bits per second, data bit 8, parity none, stop bit 1, handshaking none. Note in this section, handshaking must be set to none. Because, as you know, the RS485 consists of two wires and has no hardware handshaking at all. Click on the connect button to connect to the COM number 14. Open another terminal. Select COM number 15 and you will see that the other settings are in the default state. In this section, it doesn't matter what settings we make. It is important that the settings for two ports be the same. Click on the connect button to connect to the COM number 15. Now in the transmit section of the terminal software which is connected to the COM number 14, type any data that you want. Click on the send and as you see we receive the same data inside the terminal software which is connected to the COM number 15. You see, when I send data from the COM number 14 terminal, the port that is connected to the COM number 14, the blue light or TX which indicates transmission is blinking. And on the port that is connected to the COM number 15, the yellow light or RX which indicates received is blinking. This data is bidirectional and if you send data inside the COM number 15 terminal software, we receive the same data inside the COM number 14 terminal. And again you see when I send data from the COM number 15 terminal, the port that connects to the COM number 15, the blue light or TX which indicates transmission is blinking and the port that is connected to the COM number 14, the yellow light or RX which indicates received is blinking. The point that I want to make at the end is that this converter has an end of line or termination resistor which is a 120 ohm and also have BIOS resistors inside them and you don't need to add these resistors. Contact us via our email support at ipelectronics.com or our whatsapp number and ask your technical questions thank you for watching this video